Ouch! Hey guys, back with another review for body bags. Uh, filling in for Marnie again. She had sick or something, but uh, this week was a full moon week, so I could have picked whatever full moon movie I wanted. And uh, at first, I did pick one from O2 called Jigsaw, just because uh, the new Jigsaw is coming out, and I normally don't hear any love for it or any no one talk about it or nothing. So I was pretty stoked to review it, and then uh, look back on the past uh, body bags episodes and come to find out some dude named moods or something covered it so whoever that is but <laughs> no, i'm just kidding but he uh, he covered it so i had to pick something else so marnie had already had a uh, evil bong picked out so i had decided let's just go with that i'll review evil bong um i've always been a huge huge full moon fan i uh i got more into full moon than i did uh empire just because you know, I, most of my movie watching Prime and stuff, not Prime, but like when I was younger, kid, early 90s, uh, watched a lot of Full Moon because a lot of that stuff came to Blockbuster and Movie Gallery and all that. And, uh, you know, I remember the classics like uh, Puppet Master and Subspecies and stuff like that and the later transfer, uh, transfer movies. But um, then they came out, there was a time they came out with Ginger Dead Man first, which I actually really enjoyed with Gary Busey, and I uh, always loved that, and, you know, uh, I had to do Evil Bong, so uh, I actually went to go to my shelf to go get it and uh, give it a watch last night, and I don't know what happened to my DVD copy of it, I got all the sequels up there and stuff, so I actually had to go to Full Moon uh, streaming and uh, watch it through that, but... As far as modern full moon movies go, I think it is a really good franchise. Uh, like I said, I don't have to cover the movie with me because I had to stream it, but just to show something, I got I'll just hold the little EB up I got. But basically, the plot is this uh, uh, this like nerdy dude. He needs an apartment, so he goes and he's in college, and he goes and finds an apartment, pays the money. And everybody in them are just stereotypes of people you would see. Like, there's the stoner, the jock, and all that. And, uh, basically the stoner guy wants to order. He finds a ad online or in the paper for, uh, a bong that was owned in the, or that was bought in the 60s that's possessed. So he, they order it, and it comes. And the thing is huge, it looks awesome, but there's, like, barely a face in it. Kind of, like, just the beginnings of a face, but... The uh, so they smoke it and they end up going to this thing called Bong World, and it's basically a strip club with uh, you know, these strippers. And the uh, they the one stripper comes up, she takes off her shirt, and she's got uh, oh god, what are uh, skulls on their bra or whatever. And she, you know, dude puts his face in there, and they obviously eat his face and all that. And it's done with that, and they all go back to Bong World. And uh, the one dude who got his face bitten off in Bong World actually dies in real life. So it's kind of like a Freddy thing, you die in your dream or whatever, you die in real life, but... Uh, and then E.B., this bong ends up, the face ends up becoming more pronounced, more pronounced, and uh, it, like, talks to a single person at night or whatever, like, only one of the people at a time will be able to hear it, and uh, she actually sounds like, like, a Aunt Jemima, like, southern black woman, so it's pretty funny, but anyway, she ends up sending the next dude off to Bong World, and... It's the same thing, goes to the strip club, except the woman takes off her shirt. She's got a bra with uh, shark faces on them, and the shark, and they do the same exact thing. And, uh, you know, eats his face and everything, and then, or eats his arm, actually. That's what it was, eats his hand or his arm. And then, you know, same thing where we go back, and then there's the girlfriends of the people come over, and they have a party, and all that stuff, and then the bong ends up uh, whispering to the other one, and he ends up going to the bong world, except this one, she takes off her shirt, and it's like these uh, lips or whatever on a, a bra, and it does the same thing, so, you know, that's basically, and then Tommy, or uh, yeah, Tommy Chong comes at the end, and you find out, end up realizing it's his bong or whatever, and then at the end, he's the king of the bong land and all that, so, uh, it's, it's, it was an entertaining movie. It did what it needed to do. Uh, it was really good for Full Moon. You know, a lot of people kind of knock this, you know, talk trash about this series or whatever. Because it is really low budget. But, I mean, that is Full Moon. But 
it's uh the budget does look really low the sets look really limited like i said the kills it's the same kill every time so you know there's not really much to enjoy as far as that goes but uh what i really like about it is the acting it was like a good cheesy it was really awful but it was still entertaining like i said i really like the design and the voice and everything of you know evie the bong uh you know, it's just a it's just a staple as far as full moon goes. Like you can't have a full moon collection without having, you know, mention of the evil bong in there. And uh, I mean, it's spawned what there's there's wrath of bong, there's king bong or bong 3D, and there's you know evil bong 420, high five. And then now they're coming out with evil bong 666, and they have uh, evil bong versus uh, you know trusty ginger dead man. So that's pretty cool, but. You know, regardless, definitely pick this up. If you're just beginning into Full Moon, it's definitely a staple. It's it, it's up, not up there with Puppet Master, but as far as their uh, pillars go, you know, you got the subspecies, all that stuff. But Ginger, Dead Man, and Evil Bong are like that second tier. Um, yeah, so definitely check it out. It's a really entertaining movie. Like I said, it's got a good cameo by Tommy Chong at the end. It's quick, it's, it's brainless, and it... Uh, that's basically it. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope to talk to you guys again because I'm just a fill-in for right now. But uh, eventually I'll be a permanent member, so that'll be cool. There'll be more reviews coming your way. But uh, anyways, guys, peace.